I love the tagline for Katie. This is, can you still fly if you can't walk? And I love that. I think that's absolutely brilliant. This is Jacqueline Wilson's book from 2015. And I think I read it pretty much as soon as it came out. And I do need to point point out to anybody, if you are new to my reviews, I'm not the target audience. I'm 29. I've been reading Jacqueline Wilson since I was about eight years old. So I kind of just made it a point to keep up with everything she writes. And Katie is one that I actually really, really thoroughly enjoyed. It's actually inspired by Susan Coolidge's What Katie Did, which I read as a child, but I don't really remember it. So I can't really, I can't really identify which elements have been taken from the classic story. If you do know, please let me know. I'll read the description from Amazon and then I'll talk a little bit about this, but I'm not going to give any spoilers. So this says, Katie Carr is a lively daredevil oldest sister in a big family. She loves messing about outdoors, climbing on the garage roof or up a tree, cycling, skateboarding, swinging. But her life changes in dramatic and unexpected ways after a serious accident. So she's quite different to a lot of Jacqueline Wilson protagonists. Usually her protagonists are shy, nerdy, bookish. They'd rather be in their room reading than out playing in the mud. Obviously, Katie's not the only one like that. But it's the first she's had like that in quite a while. And I found that, that refreshing and really fun and something that a lot of children will be able to relate to. And as I say, she does have an accident. That means that she has to go into hospital. And as the tagline suggests, she can't walk. She's in hospital. She's got you know broken bones. And for somebody who's always on the go, that's pretty tough for Katie to deal with. But she also doesn't have the best attitude. Not that she's nasty, she's not a horrible person, but she's quite feisty and she has a mouth. And suddenly she's she's having to face everything at once. Um, you know, she's struggling to cope with being stuck indoors. She's around, obviously, nurses and staff and people she doesn't know. It's quite a lot for Katie to take in. And then there's there's something that happens that potentially changes... Her life forever could impact on who she is as an individual. There is some character development in this, but I feel like Katie stays quite true to who she is at the beginning of the book right throughout, which is good. I think there could be a little bit more character development, but I can see I can see why kind of she's kept kind of the same in terms of her personality. I liked it. I liked it quite a lot. It's not my favourite of her books, but I did enjoy reading it. I probably won't read this one again. But there's nothing wrong with it. Definitely check it out if you enjoy Jacqueline Wilson's books. This is in the 9 plus category, which is, you know, the usual age age range for hers. She does have a few that are for younger children, a few for older children, kind of pre-teens and early teenagers. But this one, it works well, I think, for pretty much everybody. There's a pretty strong message in this about kind of overcoming your your battles and I guess I was going to say looking on the bright side of things but I guess that's not so much the case it's more about just just keep on pushing forward you know the darkness will end and you'll find interests elsewhere and new things to enjoy and you'll find your inner courage and your inner strength when things are tough there's a really interesting um boy character in this who I won't say much about as I don't want to spoil it but I I enjoyed it. Not the best, but if you like Jacqueline Wilson, definitely want to have a read.